Welcome to the Caribbean Vegan Foodie. Today we are making gongo peas, aka pigeon peas, and quinoa, Jamaican style. Let's go! These are the ingredients that you're going to need to make your own gungu peas and quinoa. I'm using Grace Green Pigeon Peas. It's uncooked and I got it from the frozen section. Quinoa, I'm using two cups and I like to soak my quinoa or my grains before using. So I've soaked this for two hours. Sometimes I soak it overnight. Um, it depends. You will also need onion, green scotch bonnet pepper, pimento, aka allspice, three cloves of garlic, some fresh thyme, green onion, aka scallion. salt and grace coconut cream i love this thing it is amazing there you have it everything you need for your own gungu peas and quinoa
So I'm starting out by adding my peas and water to a pot and then my seasoning. So you want to add your garlic, your thyme, your onion, your scallion, your um, pimento, aka allspice berries. And you want to get those boiling get them to a boil get the piece cooking until tender i'm also adding some coconut cream i'm using an entire package of coconut cream so i'm adding half of it at the beginning to cook with the piece to bring some depth of flavor because as you know pigeon peas is not a flavorful piece it's on the flat side so you need to season it well so that you have some flavor Cover and cook until peas are tender. After your peas are done cooking, you want to add your remaining ingredients. Your remaining coconut cream and I'm adding some ginger here. So I totally forgot to add the ginger at the beginning so I'm just adding it. And I'm adding my salt. So remember to taste, taste, taste. Ensure that your pot is well seasoned. So if it need more salt you can always add. I'm also adding some scotch bunny pepper but I don't want it to burst in the pot so I'm adding it after my coconut cream dissolves. So that I don't have that extra heat but I have the flavor from the scotch bunny pepper without the heat After adding your quinoa, you want to turn your heat down to about medium high and you want to leave your quinoa and pizza simmer uncovered. This is where the magic happened. You want to have a nice and fluffy um, quinoa that's not overcooked. So the secret is to leave your pot uncovered so that you don't get that soft mushy quinoa. Let your quinoa simmer on cover until it absorb all the liquid from your pot. When all your liquid is absorbed, you want to take a fork, not a spoon, a fork, to fluff your quinoa to just fluff it around but please be careful if you have a scotch bunny pepper in it that you don't poke it that you don't get it to burst unless you like a lot of heat after fluffing your quinoa you want to turn your burner off and then cover your pot and allow the steam for about seven minutes until your quinoa is fully cooked this will allow you to have that nice quinoa that is not soggy and overcooked There you have it, perfectly cooked quinoa and gunga peas. I hope you try this recipe, you will love it. This is one of my favorite recipes that I always go to, especially when I don't want to make the typical rice and peas. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, tell a friend, and tell me what you think. Until next time, walk good.